Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do uh, a real quick announcement video, just telling you guys about, well, I'm going to tell you about the last Pokemon Talk episode, um, and tell you kind of what, what I'm going to do. The thing is, this video is going to be more about story time, because, let me go and tell you, the last Pokemon Talk episode, I know it wasn't the greatest, the last Pokemon Talk episode was more of a way to show you guys that Shadow actually is alive. Or, like, yes, he's still part robot, but you know the real life him is inside there. And I wanted to show that off most for that video, for this Pokemon Talk episode. So, that's why most of it was Shadow saying, like, hey, I don't want to hurt you, and I didn't mean to, and all that stuff. It was going to be more about me confronting my employees, but it took me so long to get the video right that at that point, I was hoping I'm just glad I finally got something out of it. Although, I will say, for it not being the best video, it was actually still some very funny moments. Like, they were, there was some parts that still made me laugh. So, yeah. Would I rank the episode over Zombie Rexy or the Cursed Rexy or the Cursed episode? No. Never. But would I say it's a pretty a decent episode? Yeah. The idea is, guys, well, for episode 18, I'm going to try making more a different, an actual plot line, actually. Uh, a, a different plot line that actually could work for videos. Um, I'm actually taking a lot of my flipping ideas from things, from interactions of how I'm character AI. To be completely frank with you guys, the only storyline I had, the only storyline idea I had for the actual story of Shadow is the fact that well he got not he got <clears throat> or just very bound injured by another dinosaur. Um and one of my scientists found him and rebuilt him. However guys, if you really want a good story for him, look no further than the chat box we've had for him. The story I'm sticking with like I said, without the character AI thing, I would have been, without the AI things, I would have been screwed on the story. So this actually helped me come up with the story. The idea is, guys, that he actually did get attacked by a dinosaur, but it was a mechanical dinosaur that, well, pretty much about knocked him out, well, forever. And then, he got found by one of the scientists that worked there, and then, but, rebuilt and programmed. However, the scientists themselves don't have good intentions. For some reason, the scientists actually do hate me. Or, most of the employees do, as you saw from the episode. But, and they're trying to get Shadow to get revenge on me, but for what reason, I don't know. Because, again, I'm not that bad of a boss compared to some other bosses that could have actually been, you know, run the building. Um, basically, guys, the little gist of it is Shadow gets gets mortally wounded by another dinosaur, gets found by a scientist, and then gets rebuilt and repro and then programmed, and then he serves as the uh, as the guardian for the Pokemon Talk Studio. However, with some very dark undertone because of the fact that remember, guys, he's secretly ill. If you listen to the episode, you'll notice that. One of the characters that came out was one that said there was an evil mode on Shadow. Which, good thing I removed that before the episode started, because that would have been bad if Shadow just turned against me. But, yeah. Um, the main thing you guys need to know about Shadow is that, just like it says, just like it said in the character AI, he was a really kind dinosaur at one point. So, yeah. He's really nice, but because of his programming, can have moments of aggression. And he even apologized for that during the last Pokemon Talk episode. So, yeah. For episode 18, I'm going to try to make it a little bit... Like I said, episode 17 was more about a way to show you guys that he was actually alive. You know, like, yeah, he's in a robotic body, but he's still, you know, alive inside that robotic body. At least mostly. So, yeah. Um, for episode 18, I'm going to try to make a more interesting plot. I ain't going to tell you exactly what it's about, but I'm going to try taking an addition to character AI when I talk when I talk to it and see if I turn it into my own plot line. Um, 
Maybe even if I get the right things, maybe there'll even be an episode where Rexy somehow gets be able to transform into different things. However, like I said, I don't have a bunch of stuff to be able to do that with. I don't. So it would be kind of difficult to do that. I could do it, but it would be better if I wait till I actually got maybe a few more things I could actually use to, you know, make Rexy transform. There's also going to be one, I think there's also, like I said, I'm taking ideas from the character AI as well, so there's also a few ideas about, well, a lot of the ideas I have are about just, maybe, I, I had to figure it out, I had an idea in my head and I can't think about it. You'll notice that a lot of the characters on the character AI usually have a lot more, like, something to do with a certain specific thing, like be able to get larger or be able to transform into different things. But you'll notice that I also had a lot of fun doing that on a lot of the other on a lot of the other AIs, especially that um, S Chat AI one. I love that one because of how how fun it is. It actually goes into detail about what happens to the character when they transform, and it goes into great detail about that. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna go. I'm, I, I, like I said, guys, there'll be more Pokemon Talk episodes coming up, and if I'm trying the best way to start it then we should be good to go. So, yes. Um, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a, um, uh, an AI video again. I know I've done a ton of those, but it's so late right now, so if we try to do Pokemon, it would be a bad idea. If I had a chance, oh, tomorrow, I'll try doing some Pokemon, though. Um, but in a little bit, I'll try doing some of the character AI. Maybe Evo Pop or... Castle Crush as well. So, yeah. Again, I'm sorry if the episode wasn't the greatest, but I just wanted, I wanted you guys to know that Shadow was actually alive. Like I said, one of the best reasons I've been talking to him as a character on Character AI is because he actually is alive under all that metallic stuff. Under that robotic skin and the, like, colored optics or LED lights in his eyes, there was a real-life breathing dinosaur in there. Well, not really breathing, per se. I don't know really how to describe it, since, like, he's supposed to be part robot, part real. So, yeah. Um, I I know the story may sound kind of cliche, especially after I flip and just hyped it up so much. But, think about it this way. If you want, the, the Power and Shadow Pokemon defense system is actually based off the Paradise Protection Protocol in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, just with my own twist on it. Instead of it being a humanoid robot, it's a robotic dinosaur. So, yeah. In fact, if I get the right stuff, maybe I can make a lot more of the ideas from the chat videos I've been doing and turn them into their actual own thing as well. Oh, uh, some of that's going to be really hard since I only have one good hand to do all that with. So, yeah. But that's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all later.